There's certain desserts out there so elegant and so simple, I cannot help but just stare at them. It takes some technique. No. It takes some nuance. And then we're gonna lay, it takes a few prayers. Transfer ever so precariously. Welcome back to Bourdain. Everybody should know how to use a knife. Use everything, waste nothing. Let's start at the beginning. It ain't that hard, okay? Hope you're doing well. We are tackling Anthony Bourdain's cookbook, Every Recipe for the First Time. I'm a noob, but that doesn't stop me. <laughs> we are making an apple tart today. Out of all the recipes, dessert has been the most challenging. We're going to make our own dough, custard, and arrange apples all sexy like to hopefully make a really beautiful, delicious dessert. Bourdain can be a little light on details and fortunately for you, I'm obsessive. So let's break it down. Three tablespoons of butter, one tablespoon reserved, three ounces of sugar, two tablespoons reserved individually, four golden delicious apples. I couldn't find golden delicious. These are gala apples and they are organic for one reason. There's something called the Dirty Dozen on the EWG website. They see what vegetables and fruits have the highest level of pesticides, herbicides, sides, death, not something I want inside of me. Apples are on that list, so I went with organic. I'll also link that down below in the description. Anyway, four eggs, Walt Disney's half cup milk and Walt Disney's half cup heavy cream, one teaspoon vanilla extract, and one pre-baked 10 inch pie crust. I have you covered with that. So if you'd like, grab Bourdain's book. I have it linked down in the description. Let's get making a tart. So before we begin with anything, let's go back in time and show you how I made this thing. Oh gosh, ignore that. To begin, we start with 250 grams of sifted pastry flour, then one and a half tablespoons of table sugar. Sprinkle a pinch of salt as well. Now take a ninja hand and create a well in the center of this mixture, about two to three inches in length. Then I get 125 grams of small cubed up cold butter into the center of this well, along with a beaten egg and one and a half tablespoons of water. From here, it gets a little tricky and it's the perk of not owning a food processor. The idea is to slowly incorporate the flour into the butter without melting the butter and also creating too much gluten, which is formed by kneading. So little by little, I squeeze the flour instead of kneading. This gets formed into a ball and then I create sort of a saucer, wrap it with plastic wrap and it goes in the fridge for at least an hour. The dough comes out and it is rock hard, going from the center outward with short strokes. I need this thing, it took me quite some time. Bourdain says go for a quarter inch in thickness. With a little maneuvering, the dough comes free and it goes into our tart pan. I go around the edge and press it in with my fingers. I then take aluminum foil and press it into the dough, much like I did the dough into the tart pan. And then I heard somewhere you take beans and put them in to weigh down the shell. It goes in the oven at 350 for 30 minutes. And then we have a pre-baked pie tart shell thing. It's okay. I noticed it's a little under on the bottom, but hey, we made it. So there we have it. It's not the prettiest. It's not perfect. You know, it's not like I'm a perfectionist or anything. It's crumbly. Sure. That's perfectly all right. <laughs> that is perfectly. I messed up desserts in the past. I've messed up many desserts in the past. This one, I will try my best. I will at least give it a second try. So I've remade the pie dough. It's been chilling in the refrigerator. We gotta roll this out, start from scratch. I think the pie dough was too thick when we first rolled it out. And I think my chakra just wasn't in line or something. I really don't know yet. We're gonna find out. Caveat one, we're gonna dust the board. It's a little hit of flour, nothing crazy. And now we're gonna do short strokes. Can't help but feel I might as well try to flatten a piece of slate or granite. <sighs> Woo. We are working for our dessert. Give it one more roll, you son of a bitch. I'm not very satisfied with what happened here, nor there. I figure shave away, go after here and just patch it up. Shave away more. Huh? We mess up, we make mistakes, but we keep baking. Was that cheesy? Yeah. I'm a guy on YouTube making an apple tart. <laughs> what do you expect? <sighs> okay. Okay. Now we're gonna get under here, half moon it and transfer it. Let's see if we can bring this guy up. Hmm. She doesn't really wanna move. <sighs> Let's think on our feet. Honestly, anytime you're in the kitchen and I'm just gonna try to get under here. Gently lifting it up, willing it, praying. She's free. Okay, now we just lay this over and we're going to delicately press this in. Now I do have a hunch that the interior kind of area is a little too light. I'm gonna steal some of this dough, roll it out and line it there. 
And now we shave off this exterior here. And then a cool little trick I saw from Claire Saffitz. You take this boy, push it into our dough. So it gets that cool little pattern. And then I'm just gonna tap it down so we maintain that shape. Our tart, round two, looks much prettier. Put this bad boy in the fridge, 30 minutes, just to get it to re-harden, come back then. Now that I think about it, we should prep our apples. First, we must skin these. Little potato peeler. Start from the top here and just go around town. Kind of therapeutic doing this, not gonna lie. Might as well do a little comment of the week. Osh Baya. You found me on TikTok and that is freaking awesome. I am trying to post more short form content on TikTok. I don't really know what to post. So if you'd like, comment down below. Maybe I could do product reviews like a blender I just used for Vichy Soise. Anything really, just fire away. There we have it. As much as I'm sure you'd love to see me peel four apples, let me just fast forward. And now we core these bad boys and slice them into little cute thin slices straight down the middle. Thought I had a cute little melon baller. So I'm just gonna go in with my paring knife, just scoop out kind of mealy apples, which is like not very groovy. Hey, shave off that and get in there. Hold on a sec, let me see. Tell you what my fear is and it's that is gonna look like crappy when I slice into it. So in order just to get like a cleaner, um, maybe go in with this just to clean it up. That's a little better. I'm happier with that. I don't even see the need for this big knife. Just gonna put that precariously over there. We're gonna slice these probably about that much. I do realize that's about a quarter inch. Very nice. There we have it. Gonna let these hang out. It is now time to grab our pie crust to pre-bake it. It is nice and hard. That we gotta preheat the oven to 350. And then we got our aluminum foil ski and just press it down and then around the corners. And kind of overlap it. One more layer, assuring we're pressing into that crust. The aluminum foil weighs down the crust and pushes outward so the crust doesn't shrink, ideally. We have to cook apples for 40 minutes at a different temperature from the pie crust. I'm gonna use this little boy behind me. Got that rocking at 350. Gonna get the pie tart crust in there. Transfer ever so precariously. I don't know what the f happened there. That would suck if something detrimental happened. What happened? And let's take care of our apples. Just gonna give them a little pat down, a little dry. Get these over here. Baking sheet with parchment paper. We're gonna grease this with one tablespoon of the butter. We get our sugar, which has been portioned out. Just sprinkle it over. And then we're gonna lay, and then we're gonna lay our apples so they don't overlap each other. Now we get our butter, cut it into tiny little cubes and it's going to dot the apples. I don't know what Bourdain means by dot, but tiny little slices. Chop it up. Never thought I would be chopping butter. Let's dot the apples with this. Putting a piece on every little apple. And then we finally sprinkle this with our remaining sugar. These will go into the oven for 40 minutes. The tart, we will check back in, reconvene when both of these are done. All right, let me show you. The pie crust has been cooked. The apples are done as well. They have been softened. Shut up. They've been softened, but they still hold. They've been softened, but they still we make our custard, combine all this. Stay with me, <laughs> it'll be worth it. In the mixing bowl, combine the eggs and the remaining sugar and whisk. In the small saucepan, combine the milk, cream, and vanilla extract and bring it to a boil. Remove this mixture from the heat and slowly add it to the egg mixture, whisking constantly until it is all incorporated and the mixture is slightly thickened. Line the other baking sheet with parchment paper and place the pie crust on it. Arrange the apple slices in a circular pattern in the crust. The apples should fill up the shell. Pull the oven rack out halfway and place the baking sheet and the crust on the rack. Pour the custard mixture into the pie crust, filling to the top, but not overfilling it. No, damn it. Carefully push the rack back into the oven and bake until the custard is set, about 25 minutes. Allow it to rest for 15 minutes before serving. looks pretty, kind of like runny-ish. Salmonella, so be it. 
That is very nice. I believe undercooked, but very nice in flavor. It's not tart tart. It's more like an apple pie. That crust came out pretty good actually. It's flaky. It's got a really nice texture to it. Now what I would do different, cut the apples bigger. Careful with the custard. I overfilled it. Definitely use whole milk. I used skim milk, probably a major issue. Christina Tozzi, Martha Stewart, help. If you're into cooking, you like the vibes here, come join our crew, subscribe. It supports me, it keeps me going, and I love doing this with you. More to come and also, of course, a giveaway and a thousand subscribers. I'm not gonna tell you what just yet, but it's pretty special. This was Back to Boarding. Stay organized, clean up after yourself. You do the best you can. I'm getting good with the flips, like, ba doo ba pow. I only took 25, 30, 35 recipes and transfer it to the tart pan. Yeah, I know, I can't do a French accent.